What's up guys, my name's Jay, and welcome back to another adventure with Get and Go. Today I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm headed up to my buddy Matt's. Um, I am gonna do a solo truck camp. I cannot for the life of me remember the last time I actually got out on a solo truck camp. I mean, Beth and I actually got out together quite a bit this summer, more often than we, we could before. So, today, as I said, headed up to my buddy Matt's. He's got this new uh, bushcraft shelter that he checked out, so we might go out to the woods and uh, have a look at it. Um, I got a pretty cool dinner, pretty simple, basic, easy dinner. Chili cheese Dorito wraps. So, got a nice little breakfast I'm gonna be cooking as well. Uh, Matt, I think, has some little uh, venison steaks that we're gonna try. I'm not a big fan of venison, um, I, but I have tried it at his place. So I don't know if it's the way he cooks it and I haven't minded it, so I'm gonna give it a shot again tonight. And uh, other than that, it's just gonna be chilling out, relaxing, crushing some beers by the fire, so. So guys, stay tuned and uh, let's go have some fun. All right guys, we are here, we are set up, and I am excited. I am very excited to get away. It's just to be such a relaxing uh, evening and day. So if you look behind us, we'll take you for a tour here of uh, just how we got stuff set up. A little close to the road. As you can hear the cars going by, but that stream kind of overpowers it anyways, and it slows down at nighttime, so we're not really too worried. So I'll take you for a trip here, show you how we got it set up, and uh, I'll show you Matt's as well, because Matt's all set up. And there's a little, Meet meet there. All right. As always, we have our fire pit set in there. We got the beautiful stream in beside us here. You can't really see it probably from, we got a little bit there. But if you can hear it, it's gonna be relaxing sound for later. Of course, we have our Coors Light and, oh, Matt brought some, oh, Caesars and what are these other things? A couple Caesars, a couple females, some sandbagger, hard seltzers. That's all you, buddy. Oh, we got our pile of firewood here ready to go. Truck Zito is all set up. You guys, we brought the Ice Co. fridge this time. So we actually get to give this a little test run. We got it sitting down. And just to let you guys know, it is drawing 43 watts right now. I don't know if you can see that. And we're at 97%. Come over here. The temperature's at 34 right now. I don't know if you can see that either. But um, So what I'm going to actually do is now we probably got it the temperature. I'm just going to put her on eco mode here, save some battery. And that should, it's cold enough outside right now, so it shouldn't uh, really drop temperature too much. So yeah, guys, check this out. We got it loaded up full of food. We got some breakfast. For breakfast tomorrow, we're doing some eggs, some pea meal, some sausages. We got a cup of Coors Light. It's getting cold now. We got some water, some fruit for later. A couple sandwiches for the lunch today. A nice stump there for a little footstool. All right, canopy is out to keep the dampness off everything. And again, guys, look at this solo camper setup. I haven't had this in a while. This is gonna be beautiful. I'm, oh, son, this is gonna be beautiful. I'm so looking forward to this. All right, guys, so it is gonna be a cold night tonight. It is dropping down to minus five degrees Celsius, which I believe is like 24, almost 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's gonna be below freezing. 
but uh, I do have my minus 30 sleeping bag. I'll be in there. I do brought, I did bring the body heater this time too. I wasn't going to set up the diesel heater because it's going to be a nice day. I wanted to see how much power the, uh, the fridge is actually going to draw off my Jackery. So, um, yeah. So yeah, so I just end up, uh, going with the body heater for today. Again, I might just warm it up a little bit before I go to bed and, uh, maybe I'll just turn it on quickly in the morning, kind of take the chill out of the truck, but, uh, my sleeping bag is going to be perfect. So let's have a little look at Matt's setup here. All right. So we got Matt chilling, having a nice little seltzer, a little hey south to seven. Soaking up the sun. Soaking up the sun. Here. And here's his element setup. If you all haven't seen it before, it's quite, uh, quite the little setup. And he's got his body heater back here, ready to go. <laughs> he's got his jacket all hanging up. Nice little bed there. He's got, he's got all the storage underneath here. He does have an awning for this, but uh, we're not going to probably use that tonight because, like I say, we got mine out now, and uh, we're probably going to spend most of the time by the fire over there later on anyway. So I'm just going to keep my awning up, maybe keep the uh, the frost and stuff off the chairs and stuff for the night. So yeah. he's got a great little setup. I got a great little setup going on. So yeah, guys, like I say, we got a cute little setup here. I think for the day, what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the woods, maybe on the bikes or walk up. I don't know yet, but uh, I'm going to show you. Matt's little bushcraft shelter he made. I'm also gonna leave a link down in the description for the video he made. He actually went out there and spent a cold night out there one night uh, last weekend. So I'll show, I'll link his video down in my description. And I honestly can't wait to see this thing in person. And again, I might come up and uh, maybe do a little camp out in it myself. So, so stay tuned and uh, we'll take you up to the woods here in a bit. South of seven, little bushcraft hut. Take us for a tour, buddy. All right, so this is the fallen down tree that's been here for years. It used to be up higher, and I could actually drive my four-wheeler down under it and then through the trails. And it's since fall, fallen down. So I thought, what a cool spot to uh, build off. Sweet, let's go have a gander inside. So guys, this is the opening here, obviously. Uh, I still have the fireplace in there from my last camp out last weekend. So, normally wind comes from the west and blows to the east. When I was up here, it was barreling right down through here, right in the front door. So, in my video, you'll see I had to put a tarp up at night just to uh, keep the wind down. Damn, hey, some Blair Witch shit. <laughs> That's so sweet, though. That looks awesome. You'd it actually looked a lot bigger in the video. Because yeah. just when you had your cot in there, it looks like you had so much room. But really, you could definitely get two cots in here, though. You might even be able to get them across this way. Oh, yeah. But I put it... I put my cot right here. Yeah. The fireplace is here. Just so the stack is out of the tarp. And then uh, that way I can feed the fire at night. Damn. The wind was definitely a factor. Look how sweet that is. guys so we are back from our hike we're pretty tired now i'm not gonna lie to you i'm a chubby little bastard i get tired easy we got the fire going behind us here we're gonna sit down we're gonna have a couple cool bevies uh just chill out and wait uh wait till we cook dinner here in a bit so again i have chili cheese dorito wraps yeah chili cheese dorito wraps is what i'm cooking for dinner so um Matt does have his little venison chunks here that uh, I'm gonna give myself a little taste. As he said earlier, I'm uh, kind of a hit and miss when it comes to venison. So yeah, like I say, just gonna sit by the fire, relax for a bit, get ready, have some dinner, and uh, see what the night brings. So stay tuned, guys. Ow, ow, get to the chopper. Oh, Kingston, you're so beautiful. Cheers, guys. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> so it's chilly but it is dinner time 
So Matt's over here stoking the fire. He's getting her good and hot and ready. And I'm going to make our chili cheese Dorito wraps. <laughs> so let's show you what's all involved here. All right guys, like I mentioned, this is gonna be basic, simple, and easy. So we have our tortilla wraps. We've got some Tex-Mex cheese. We have this new Doritos. I love me some Doritos, but this is a new one. Late night sizzling cheeseburger. I've never seen those before. So we're gonna try those out. Well, you can see I already opened, I try it. It's pretty good. We have our Gailey sour cream and we have our stag chili. Now I did cheat and I did buy some pre-made chili, but stag chili Silverado, oh, it's got a little spice to it. And it says there, beef chili with beans. So don't be haters. I know some of y'all don't like beans in your chili, but this is pre-made and I didn't do it. And I'm gonna dice out some green onions for some garnish. And we're gonna cook the chili over here and hit this little pot here over the fire. And uh, we'll get things rolling here. So let's get to cooking. Just like I said, this is pretty easy. We're just gonna pop the lid here. Get our chili in the pot. Look at that chili. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We're gonna go put the lid on and we're gonna go put it on the grill over the fire. We're gonna heat it up over the fire. All right, so we're gonna let that get nice and toasty and uh, we'll go prep up everything else. All right, so while that's getting warmed up on the fire, the only other real prep is, is chopping up these green onions. So let's get to chopping. What do you got there, Matt? Venison back straps. Yeah. Just gonna season those up with a little bit of uh, Montreal steak spice. That didn't take long, at all. It's gonna be done a lot quicker than I thought. So that chili didn't take long at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back over to the tailgate here. I'm gonna get it all prepped up. Uh, and in the meantime, Matt is gonna do his venison right over the fire here on the grill. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get these ready and then I'm gonna end up uh, put them together and then bring them back over the fire on a pan and then fry them up. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, man. This is like, Almost like a burrito, almost, but. What we're gonna do is get our tortilla, flap it down. Now I've got a different way of making these. It's not quite a wrap, but it's more of a sandwich-like kind of wrap. So all I do is put a little slit from the middle out. So then we're gonna get, oh, everything's so cold, it doesn't wanna rip. All right, so how this wrap works is we're pretty much gonna have one, two, three, four sections, right? So the first section, we're gonna lay down some cheese, some good thick cheese. Be generous, generous with it. We're gonna come in on the chili. our late night sizzling cheeseburger Doritos. All right. Again, you just picture this as little triangles. Not the Doritos, but the actual wrap itself. All right, then this last little section here, we're gonna come in with our sour cream. All right, little green onion in there. All right, now we fold this all together. So we go one, two, and third fold. 
All right, guys, now we take this beautiful artwork here. We're gonna go put another fire and get them uh, toasted up. Look at that. Look at that. Over here. There are little venison bites. Get a good look at that. All right. So there is our chili cheese Dorito wrap and our venison steaks. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm going to try this venison. Again, I told you I'm a little weary on it sometimes. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but this looks damn good. Let's give her a try. Ooh, wow. That's not gamey at all. Oh boy. I got a hint. Oh, wow. Stay Spice uh, really does it up nice, too. Oh, wow. Look at these. Venison? I'm eating venison. <laughs> It's twice he's cooked it now that I actually enjoyed it. Normally, I despise, used to despise venison. But wow, that is super awesome. Got to get rid of the fat. Got, got to get rid of the silver skin. Maybe that's what it is. Wow, I am actually really impressed with this. That's not bullshit either. All right, let's try this uh, chili cheese crunch wrap. Chili cheese Dorito crunch wrap. Mmm. <laughs> so good it's so good it's also good just like a chili cheese burrito you're getting the crunch in there with those doritos i brought a fork but i don't think i'm gonna need it oh it's messy it's a little messy mm. good job jay well guys, once again, dinner was fantastic. Oh, so delish, so good, so good. So I think I'm gonna cop the uh, dinner off with an extra spicy Caesar. What you got drinking, Matt? I got a sandbagger, uh, pink grapefruit. Ooh, they're good. Beer doesn't sit well with me anymore, so I'm drinking the, uh, can they say girly drinks? <laughs> but I like them. And yes, dinner was amazing. Thank you, Jay. Oh, thank Once you. Once again. Thank you. Again, guys, this is the only person that's been able to cook deer and I've been able to eat it. So I must tell you something. Again, I'm not into gaming meat, but I'm telling you, I ate two of those full steaks. Oh, delish. It was so good, especially with the uh, little steak seasoning on there too. Mm-hmm. So good. So guys, cheers. We're going to sit around the campfire, have a couple drinks for the night, maybe listen to some music, and uh, maybe we'll catch you at bedtime. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers, man. Firecracker show going on. No, I have no idea what the occasion is. We got a little show across the field there. Well, guys, it's pitch black out, as you can't even see the cooler. I gotta try to reach in so we can really show you that light now. I can't even find the handle. Oh yeah, Hello. look at that, 
reach in no problem. Grab yourself a Coors Light. What a beautiful thing. Oh, I'm so glad I'm in here. <laughs> so I started the body heater up like maybe 20 minutes ago and it's already cooking in here. I feel like I'm losing headroom for some reason. I gotta say though guys, it's been a, been a fun day. Went hiking up through the woods there, seeing Matt's bush, bushcraft shelter that he made up. So that was really awesome. And then, uh, yeah, I had a wicked dinner. Oh, I'm still full. I'm not even tempted to eat anything <laughs> at all. Oh. oh, that body heater on high is killer in here. Can you crack wind a little bit though? So yeah guys, I, um, I think I am going to uh, call it a night. I'm going to get undressed here and crawl into my nice warm sleeping bag now. A little cold down at the feet part, but, but yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning for coffee, guys. Good night. Well, guys, it is pretty frosty windows in here. Check this out. Wow, it's cold, but we got the heater on. I'm gonna warm it up in here before I actually physically get out of bed. See you in a bit. Oh man! Oh, good morning, guys. It was a chilly night. Oh, but this sleeping bag, oh, it kept me warm. I didn't want to get out. Oh, I don't think I'm ready for this cold weather yet. We got the heater just going already. You see the guy on here? The fan pushing. It's warming up here quite nice. So I think what I'm going to do is slowly get dressed, get coffee in me. Matt's already up there. Got a fire going, I can see. So once my clothes get warmed up, I'm going to go out there, have a coffee, and uh, we're going to see what we're going to do for breakfast. But oh, you gotta see these windows. Oh. Even outside here, look at all the frost on the ground. Matt's bag over there is just covered in ice. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. I'll tell you, this buddy heater heats this up quite nice. Again, yeah, I didn't get up in the middle of the night or turn it on or anything. I kept it off all night and uh see the blanket kept me uh, nice and warm the windows have been cracked too got the pan going and it's still a little it's dry in here at least besides the windows but it's actually everything's pretty dry in here so yeah like i say i'm gonna get dressed and uh get a coffee going and go sit by that warm fire Coffee on a cold morning. Can't go without. Oh, are you guys looking at this? This is my Audi Nano, my portable electric espresso coffee maker. If you stay tuned and you subscribe to the channel and you hit that notifications button, I'm about to do a review on this little guy. We'll give you a little sneak peek here though. Don't look too close.
Oh, that's a good espresso. Okay, look how frosty the truck is. Again, it was cold morning. It was down to minus five degrees Celsius on my awning. I left my little GoPro thing here and it's all just full of ice. The poles are all full of ice. But you know what? It's still a great time. You sit by a warm fire, have a coffee, and figure out what's going on for breakfast. Yeah. Well guys, it's breakfast time. So today, I'm not gonna do any eggs. It'll be less mess. We got some big brat sausages. We got some pea bacon. We're gonna make some pea bacon on some English muffins and some cheese. And then uh, we'll do a side of sausage here. So I think it's gonna be a good feed. So let's get to cooking. I'm gonna just throw these on the grill, use this big fork and cook them on that, and then I'll just fry to toast up the English muffins. Like on the fire grill? Yeah, I think it'd be easier. It'll take a while for these to go in the pan. Oh, this butter is cold. Shots of that. We're gonna come in with some cheese. Yeah. Look at that cheese. I'm gonna just come in with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Stack them down. Voila, look at that. Pea meal, cheese, some barbecue sauce. Oh yeah, Matt's got the sausages on the fire, so let's go over there and see what they're, check on them. Here you go. They look beautiful. Look at them big fatties, great big fatties. Here you go, brother, that's oh, for you. Wow, thank you. All right. Man, we we'll grab our little hot sausages here. Mm-hmm. Look at that, folks. Look at it. It's all good. All right, look, look at that. That looks so awesome. Got some cheese in their sausages there. Our female bacon with cheese and barbecue sauce. Let's give her a shot. Mmm. That's a good breakfast sandwich for sure. Well guys, breakfast is all done. We're all cleaned up. I got the truck packed away. I'm just letting the awning dry out a little bit and then uh, I think I'm gonna head out. Those that do follow me, there is a website uh, that did a little story on it. So if you wanna get a, get to know Beth and I a little bit better, then uh, you can check out the roamerstrail.com. Uh, like I say, they do a bunch of stories on uh, just other adventurers and, and whatnot. Uh, and it's pretty cool stuff. It's a pretty cool read for some of them. So uh, yeah, guys, if uh, make sure you check out the roamerstrail.com. And, uh, and once again, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the Ice Co fridge. Uh, we got to use it, we got to test it out. It, it was actually uh, quite good. It didn't drain my battery. I think I should have took footage of it, but I had 63% uh, when I woke up this morning of the battery left. So I can guarantee me I can get two full days. And that was probably a good solid 24 hours too. So I can get a good solid two full days out of that if I need to. Um, 
And again, I'm gonna put the link down in the description to Matt's video uh, of the bushcraft shelter uh, that we did. So don't be, uh, don't be shy and check that out and uh, give him a little like and subscribe. So yeah, guys, once again, I appreciate y'all watching. Again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers.